today I'm here, I'm going to talk to you about, firstly, me. It might sound a little bit selfish, but I want to talk to you about how lucky I think I am. I know there is like a thousand reasons I could tell you that, why I think I'm a lucky person. But today I'm going to talk to you about one reason, and it's my school. Uh, in Chile, public schools are not very good because the, well, in Chile you need money to have a good education. So if you're in a public school, you don't get a really good education. So my parents worked and they are still working to give me the best education they can, and for my brothers and my sister too. So I studied in a private school and I'm really proud of that because I really love my school. Um, one of the things I can like, uh, show you that it's very good for my school is that they taught me about sex education. I'm really thankful for this. Uh, they started talking to me about sex education since I was like maybe five years old. Uh, so at the time I didn't know it was like a taboo topic or maybe some controversial topic. But then I noticed that because I was the captain of my basketball team at my school, in high school. So I met a lot of persons from other schools, a lot of girls, and I met a lot of friends from other schools. One year ago, I was in the subway in Chile, and I saw three of the girls that I met playing basketball from other school. Three girls my same age. Now I'm 18 years old, so at the time I was 17. One of these girls was pregnant, 17 years old. The other one had gonorrhea uh, disease. And the third one was just avoiding dates with boys because she didn't want them to end like the other of her friends, like the other two friends. So then I realized that not everyone had my, my option to get a sex education. So today I'm going to talk about why it should be mandatory to teach sex education in schools. I know there are a lot of reasons, and I found a lot of reasons why this should be mandatory. But today I'm just going to talk to you about three main reasons. Self-confidence, self-care, and self-control. So first, self-confidence. How do you get self-confidence by, I mean, through the sex education? Well, you know how your body works. They teach you how your body works, and not just your body. Uh, but the body, body of the opposite sex. So you understand a lot of things that you didn't know, and you start acce accepting yourself. Uh, you know the things you like, things you don't like. You start knowing a lot of things that you weren't able to know. Then, self-care. How can you get to self-care? Well, getting informed, because you really receive a lot, lot of information, but it's different information you get uh, when you're five years old, eight years old, 10 years old, and so on. But this information then helps you to avoid diseases, and not just disease, uh, helps you to avoid things that you didn't want for you, or sometimes for your friends. Because now I know that I can give advice to my friends that didn't get the sex education. And finally, self-control. When you get sex education, you learn that everyone is different. So you learn how to respect the other. And not just the other, you learn how to respect yourself. Because your body, it's part of who you are. And you have to be proud of it, and you have to take care of that. You have to know how to take your own decisions. You have to know when to say no, when to say yes, if you want to do something, if you don't want. And I'm not talking just about sex, like the action. I'm talking about everything in life. Work, at school, in your relationship, in, in, with your friends, with your family. So. These are the three main reasons why I think that should be mandatory to teach sex education in schools. 
self-confidence, self-care, and self-control. Now, I know that a lot of people and my friends tell me, like, no, that's the work of your family. Your family have to teach you about sex education because the school is for learning things like math, language, English, and that sort of things. But, for example, what if my family wouldn't have an idea of what sex education is, or if they were wrong in what sex education is? So I think everything starts from the education. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. That's on a bit. I really love this quote because I really think it's a powerful weapon. If you are not receiving a good education, you are not you cannot be a good person because you're not informed, you don't know, and... Yeah.